Hi, I'm Mark Fratrick, Vice President of Research at BIA Kelsey, and I'm here today to just review some of the results from our um, Investing in Radio First Edition 2011. I want to thank you for purchasing the digital version of the Investing in Radio. This is our first time providing that information, and we are excited about providing you that information in this medium. Um, specifically, I want to go over some charts that we have in the first in the media trend section of the publication, specifically the percentage increase in over-the-air revenues for the radio industry, the actual dollar amounts for the online and over-the-air revenue, radio revenues over the last uh, 10 years, and as well as our projections going into the future. And the last area is the information we have on the level of station training activity over the past few years. Well, let's first take a look at the percentage increase in radio revenues. 2010 was the first year in several years where radio revenues actually showed a positive growth. We estimated that the radio industry over-the-air revenues increased by 5.4% in 2010 after several years of negative growth. Um, we also project going out forward that radio revenues will increase between three and a half and four and a half percent over the next five years. The, a little bump in the, in the um, even years with some political advertising going to radio revenues. Now this is just over the air revenues for the radio industry. Where we see a real potential for um, radio industry is the online advertising revenues. And we are now providing both the total radio online revenues um, nationally as well as each individual market. From information we obtained from both broadcasters and others who are in, involved in the radio industry, we now provide the radio online revenues. And for 2010, we estimated it was going to be, it was $405 million, and over the next five years, we estimate it will grow at a 14.1% compounded annual growth rate. The last area I want to talk about is the amount of station training activity. Um, in that chart that we provide in the media trend section, we have the last 10 years worth of radio station sales, both in terms of the number of radio stations and the total dollar volume of those sales. As you see, there was, 2010 was a disappointing year as there was only $400 million worth of radio station transactions with over 800 radio stations sold. That $400 million was about the same level as the year before, but it was still way below the level of transactions of, may, of many of the previous years. Of course, the economy played a very significant role in the lack of radio station sales, as well as the lack of available financing. While those last two years were somewhat disappointing, we're a little heartened though by the first few months of 2011 where we've seen some very notable acquisitions, the Hubbard acquisition of 17 Bonneville stations, as well as cumulus um, acquisition of the Citadel radio properties. Well, that's all I want to talk about in this edition. Um, we look, thank you for purchasing this um, publication and we look forward to talking to you again.